Bismillah wa salat wa salam ala amalla nabiya ba'ada. All praises is indeed due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the nourisher, the sustainer, the capacitated master of creation. Lovely viewers, I welcome you once again to my YouTube channel, Soldiers of Islam Media with the Islamic Greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today's video is also the continuation of the video I did first regarding the case of uh, that arose uh, at Wesley Girls uh, in Cape Coast. Now, you people, in that video, uh, we read the news and we we made it very clear to uh, uh, the stand of the school and why they fear or they don't want the Muslim uh, lady to to uh, to do the fasting. And even they said it generally it's not only Muslims; it is also it, it is extended to the non-Muslims also. Generally, they just don't uh, because of the health complications of the uh, of the student. They just want to omit the issue of fasting in their school. And we did a video and we saw some of the comments of some politicians in Ghana and all the Muslim community were very, very angry and they were not happy about that, especially the kind of uh, environment that the Muslim and the Christians, uh, they, they, they have created in order for them to live in peace and harmony. And such institutions are distorting, are trying to bring down kind, that kind of peace and harmony. So most people came out and they brought their concern. And, uh, and now we have a letter from Ghana Education Service. So we are going to check that letter out and see how important is it or uh, what value or what change did that letter really brought to that issue that arose so let's see this is the letter from ghana education service so it was read they said republic uh, ghana education service press release wesley girls school prevent a student from fasting that was the heading so actually the letter was released on the first of may yes so it read our attention has been drawn to various media reports relating to a recent occurrence at Wesley Girls High School, Cape Coast. It started with a student who requested of the school authorities to allow to fast during Ramadan. Fasting undertaken by students for various reasons and observed differently by respective groupings has had varied health implications on our student over the years the net effect was that students develop various health conditions the school de therefore took the decision then that irrespective of one's religious background fasting was not permitted now let's continue it was therefore imperative that to ensure the health of student was not com compromised vis vis their organized school schedules, this long standing practice had to be maintained. Let's go. This was the basis for the refusal by the school authorities of the school request to fast during Ramadan. Having been appraised of the fact of this case, the Minister of Education met the presiding bishop, Most Reverend Dr. Paul Kwabina Buafu, and some board members of Wesley Girls High School. The school authorities made it clear that it had no intention whatsoever of interfering with the religion, religious practice of any group of students, but had prioritized the health of young girls placed in their care. The minister advised the Ghana Education Service to put in place measures 
to address this matter, bearing in mind the right of student and concerns of schools on the health risk associated with the fast. Please take this point note. I'll come back to this point because it's very important. There's a reason why. Let's continue. The Ghana Education Service therefore directs authorities of Wesley Girls High School as well as any other school to allow any such student to wish, uh, sorry, who wish to fast for any religious issue or reasons to do so. The parents of any such student are also directed to write to the school indicating that the school shall not be held liable for any health condition of the student as a result of the fasting. Now, this is the end. Staff, student, and the general public are to take note. This is the letter from Ghana Education Service. Now, I told you to take, care, uh, po uh, take note of some points, which is very important. The minister sh or, or advised the school or the Ghana Education Service to put in uh, place, uh, what, measures, right? To put in place measures to address this matter, bearing in mind the rights of students and the concerns of school on the health risk associated with the fasting so it means here is that the school authority or the school Ghana education service is also cautioning all high school should allow the student to fast all right but they should bear in mind and also make provisions of any risk that will uh, will come on the way especially if the student is fasting they have to make sure that before the student fast, they have to get a medical report of that student, whether the student has no any uh, health issue and the, the student is fit to fast. I just reason. Now, the point I'm trying to make here is the parents of any such students are, are also directed to write to the school, indicating that the school shall not be held liable. Now, what you have to know that in case, in case of we Muslims, at least, any student going to be admitted in the school you have to clearly indicate that you are muslim or you are not what you are non-muslim you have to clearly indicate sometimes maybe your name shows that you are muslim or you are not a muslim so by that i think uh, because as automatic as far as you are muslim automatically you have to fast so i think that it is not necessary that uh, the parents have to write any I don't know whether it's an undertaking you have to write an undertaking to make sure that if anything happens to your world that is the point I'm trying to make here. As far as the student was admitted in the school and he bared an Islamic name or he, he indicated in the form that I'm a Muslim, there's no need for any parent to write any letter to the school that my child will do what is a Muslim and will be fasting. Because as far as you're a Muslim, it's automatically that you have to fast. Now, the point I'm trying to make here is I don't think that the, it is necessary to say that if anything happened to the child, uh, the school authorities will not bear the consequences. Let's, let's reflect on such statements. Such statement, I think it, it, it's not, it, it is not fair, it's not fair. Because all students should be treated equally, whether they are trying to exhibit or they are trying to follow their religious uh, injunctions, their religious injunctions, I don't think that uh, it is fair for you to say you don't care if anything happens. It may, it may happen that maybe it is not necessary. What happened at that moment, it is not because of the fasting, but it is another external problem that happened. So if you are restricting, you are saying that you will not bear the consequences or you will not be held accountable if anything happened. This is where I think that the issue is. Now, there is another uh, issue from uh, 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 news from Joy, my Joy Online. Let me check. Uh, it's from my Joy Online. Let's analyze this. It's also very, very, very interesting. Let's look at what they said. My Joy Online. School authority not to be held liable for health condition of student who fast. Ghana Education Service 
said that. Now, let's go. Parents are advised that senior high school authority nationwide will not be held accountable will not be held accountable for the health condition of their ward should they grant their children permission to fast. This follows a directive by the Ghana Education Service informing all schools in the country to permit students to fast, especially Muslim students during the Ramadan period. Now let's continue. However, Ghana Education Service service Ghana Education Service in its press statement noted here what I read earlier yes statement noted that parents are first and foremost to write to the respective school for permission while relinquishing it of any responsibility should they said student face health complication as a result that is the issue here it is very very important to Take this point very, very uh, serious. The Ghana Education Service therefore directs authorities of Wesley Girls High School as well as any other school to allow any such student who wish to fast for any religious reasons. It makes sense. So the point we are trying to make here is they say, however, after calls for like they said, uh the directive signed by the head of public relations unit as Ghana Education Service Cassandra Tum Ampofo, followed by accusation leveled against Wesley Girls uh, that management was preventing a Muslim student and others from fasting on the basis that they may suffer health issues. They may suffer health issues should they fast and undertake any duties and responsibility in school. No, the question I started asking myself that, in fact, I wanted to say that in my previous video, I don't know whether there has never been students from Wesley girls, uh, like Muslim students from Wesley girls before, or maybe I don't know whether, maybe those past students, they were not taking fasting very seriously, or maybe they have just realized that it most of the time they face uh, health issues when Muslim students are fasting in the school. That is the question that arose in my mind and I was thinking why? Because many years Wesley girls was not in Ghana and maybe just yesterday. No, 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 no. This is a school who has been in the system for many years. Many, many years. More than 100 years if I'm not mistaken because uh, if you check when the Methodists came to Ghana through the history, as I said in my previous video, they came here almost in the 18th century. So you can you can see that at least they were in Ghana many years. So and when that school was established, definitely they are going to they are going to uh, get Muslims who have been uh, uh, part of the school and they have passed through the school. And so I don't know how they they took their issue. But the point I'm trying to make here is now you can see that they are trying to isolate or they are trying to they are like they are trying to like remove themselves if in case any health issues uh, uh, happen to a student. <sighs> Alhamdulillah, we know that more Muslims have been doing this fasting and all that. And I know even we the Muslims, it is advice that if anybody is having health complication is not allowed to fast so that one is very clear we know that it's very clear if any person is having health issue ulcer stomach ulcer or maybe a directive from the doctor that saying that you are not allowed to fast we have a, other options that islam has what uh uh a, a, a shrine us with that we can take the other way so it's i don't think we should just take it cool it's okay we are okay with that but the children should be given the full right to fast, to pray, and to also what read the Quran as other religion. This is a public institution, public institution, for God's sake. This is a public uh, institution, for God's sake. This because and as far as as as, as far as you are in the, the public domain, you are being enshrined. No matter how whether you also have you have your enacted laws you also you are under a law 
you are not above the <gasps> you are not above the law of the country that is what you have to take it very seriously so please it this is very very important especially to the muslim community because we cannot continue to be pushing just one agenda muslim are not fast muslim are not allowed to wear hijab muslim just one common agenda every day day in day out yet we see roman sisters being dressed like muslims and they are not being cautioned and these are the same people telling us to dress the way they want us to dress so i think that it is very important for us to just stop this kind of religious intolerance in our country religious bias if i'm just saying that religious bias because we also have non-muslim in other islamic schools in ghana who are being given the full right even on sundays to go out and go to their churches why because we know that that is what they believe we have to give them that equal right which i think that it will promote and push ghana forward and it is very important so this will be the end of this uh, today's video. Please share the video to your loved ones and click on the notification bell. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the video. Share it. Share it. Many people like people, loved ones should get to see the video so that uh, many people also bring their thought. Comment. Bring your comment. Let's see your comment. Let's see your comment flow and uh, so that we see what you people think about this case. Much love. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.